Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you guys my Twitch desktop app today. So what this program does essentially is whenever someone goes online or whatnot, or whenever you just sit down and you want to see quickly who's online on twitch.tv, um, this will allow you to quickly see that and launch the stream at the same time. So I'm going to show you guys a couple things real quick. Just show you how it works. Uh, Give me one second. I'm going to set it up as if I've never used it before. Alright. So, when you first run the Twitch desktop app version, whatever, you're going to see a couple message boxes. You can read through those real quick, see what they say. It's going to tell you to move this window wherever you would like it to reside in further use. So click OK. I would suggest a uh, right hand side somewhere clean and neat out of the way. Or you can either do it up top, whatever way you want to do it, however you use your desktop. And then, so as you can see, it's over here now. Click Set Position. So when you click that, a new window will appear. This window will have five buttons for each stream that you want to add on there. It has an Update, Reposition, and Options button down here. Uh, update button will update these buttons over here and show you who's online, who's not online. Reposition will bring back this window here and you can move it wherever you want again. Click it again and it'll put it there. And anytime you close the program, if you ever do close it and bring it back up, it'll start off where it was. And then you have the options menu. You have the option to manually update. That means you'll have to, each time you want to update it, click this button down here. Automatic update. Default is every five minutes it'll check if the stream's online. Uh, you can change that time by change update timer. You can only do it up to 60 uh, minutes, so one hour. And then you can do update streamer, and that's when we'll add in our streams over here. Um, so yeah, and also if you have automatic update on, you can click update still down here and it'll manually force an update. It will reset that time, so say you have it set for 30 minutes, if you click it 20 minutes in, it will no longer have 10 minutes left until it updates, it will reset down to 30 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to add one streamer, and then I'm going to put it back to where I've had it set to my defaults, because this is how I have it set up, just to show you a fully working one. So I'm going to update streamer. It's going to ask you to input a number, 1 through 5, according to the number of the stream button you want to update, 1 being the topmost. So that would be the streamer 1 button. Streamer 2, streamer 3, streamer 4, streamer 5. I'm going to update streamer 1 just because. So I'm going to put in a 1, hit OK. It's going to ask for a name. I'm going to add Ruin in because I know he's live right now, so I can just show you what it does when they are live. So we have Ruin now in this box here. Hit OK. It's going to ask you for the link to twitch.tv stream. Uh, it's easier to be safe just to go to the stream in a web browser, copy and paste the link. But I know what it is, so I'm going to do www.twitch.tv slash ruin. That's all his name is, all his stream name is. And then I'm going to hit OK. It's going to verify this information. Hit Yes. And now as you can see, we have Ruin in the top, he's green because he's online. If they're not online, it'll stay red. So with that being said, there's what the program looks like. You can exit the program by right clicking here and clicking exit in your taskbar. Um, I'm going to put back how the program is when I use it. And we're going to rerun it. So now it has my streams on there that I like. I have Ruin, Mangachu, EXTV, Stabby, and TFTV. As you can see, we have three green and two red. So the three green ones, they're online. Two red ones, they're offline. I'll show you how it looks when you launch one. So if you click Ruin, for example, it's going to pop up with this and ask if you would like to run it in a web browser or use Livestreamer. Uh, for more information on live stream, I'll leave it in the description and everything, etc. Uh, if you don't use live streamer, I would urge you to. It uses uh, VLC, is what everyone uses with it, to 
watch the streams. It's much faster, much cleaner, and it just works all around better. I'll go ahead and show you both of them. So I'm going to hit 1 for web, hit OK, and it's going to automatically watch, launch my default web browser to run the stream. I'm going to close that, click them again, hit live streamer. This time it's going to ask me for the quality I want to run the stream at. Another great thing about live streamer, you can automatically set the quality you want it to. I'm going to use it 4 for source, hit OK. We'll wait for a second, and this is what live streamer looks like when you start it. And there we have we have ruined stream now. I've never had such a riveting conversation on. All right, well there you have it. Thanks for watching and enjoy. <laughs>